It's the big question. And I'm going to be very specific in what I say. The question is, what would you do to revise gun laws to prevent another massacre? Notice I didn't say, would you revise gun laws? I said, what would you do to revise gun laws to prevent another massacre? I realize it's sacrilege. I realize it's uh, against the uh, protocols of the conservative movement. But enough is enough. I'll tell you what I would do. You're on psych meds, no guns. You see, right now, if you are on any controlled substance or addicted to any controlled substance, you are not permitted to own firearms under the Gun Control Act of 1968. But you'll notice that antidepressants have not been added to that list. And yet in almost every case of a mass shooting over the last number of years that I've studied, it's been antidepressants involved in the shootings. But the medical establishment is so deeply connected to the profit motive that we have to fight the medical establishment and add antidepressants to the list of those who cannot own a gun in America. I know you may say, well, that would eliminate probably half the police who are probably on antidepressants. Uh, Congress would probably be banned from owning guns under the, uh, those terms. I've told you I believe that there should be uh, ma uh, mandatory drug testing for Congress. It would probably explain why we're living through the hell we're living through. But what would you do to revise gun laws to prevent another massacre? I would say if you're on psychological meds like antidepressants, no, no guns.